Hey guys, John Muir from Restoring Reason with John Muir, and I talked on air today about how we we're going to try to get to it. Unfortunately, didn't have the time to discuss the whole Stormy Daniels saga in the latest chapter on air, so that's exactly what these after show videos are for. We're going to go ahead and talk about it right now. So, anyways, you might have heard yesterday, Miss Daniels and her legal team filed in court saying that because of course they're still trying to get this whole non-disclosure agreement that they agreed upon that paid her $130,000 that might add you did not come from President Trump. They're still trying to get that completely nullified so they can go open up and apparently tell this wild and crazy story all about it. So anyways, with Daniels, she was saying that she never would have signed the non-disclosure agreement had she known that President Trump did not sign it then, candidate Trump. All right, so hold on one second. So, so you're gonna look at an important legal document and you're not even going to like bother to like look for the most important detail of it, like the other party involved, have they signed off on this as well? Like how stupid are you? That, that this is the moron that the mainstream media is putting all their eggs in the basket of, leading their coverage with like, oh, well Stormy said this, so it must be true. I, I mean, she's clearly a dingbat and they're actually you know relying on this as newsworthy stuff, as their top story. That is how desperate they are to go after Trump. She's trying to say all this stuff like, oh, well, I, I had no idea until February of 2018 that, that Trump hadn't signed on to this. Okay, so, so now you're trying to claim that like everyone should feel bad for you? This is the equivalent of you speeding down the highway, the cops pulling you over and you saying, oh, well, I didn't, I didn't see the sign even though it was posted. I didn't know what the speed limit was, so you can't give me a ticket. That's what Stormy Daniels is trying to do right now. Her and, oh, her lawyer too. Yeah, no, he's, he's, a, he's a poster child for this whole thing as well. He comes out and he's saying, we don't want any kind of private settlement. We all want this to play out in the public eye. Hmm. So a washed up lawyer and a washed up porn star. Why on earth would the two of them want to have this play out in public? Hmm. Let's all think about this for a second. Oh, I know. Maybe because the only reason that they're doing this whole thing is to, to try and get fame out of this. That's the only thing they care about. I mean, there was no wrongdoing on the part of the president. Let Let's just, I'm going to go ahead on a hypothetical and give the media, let's say that President Trump and Stormy Daniels did have an affair. Let's say it happened. Fine. What exactly are going to be the legal consequences that would come from this? She at no point in time said this was like a Me Too moment. She at no point in time said she was sexually harassed. She said they had a consensual sexual encounter. So what exactly would come against the president from this? I mean, sure, it's just his personal character they're going after. That could be damaged. I mean, if it actually turns out to be true, I'm sure his wife wouldn't be too thrilled about it. But at the same time, there is nothing, nothing legally that can come against the president for this. This has nothing to do with the law. This has nothing to do with his job in the White House. This is just about two people being so hell-bent on getting their name back in the spotlight. They want their 15 minutes of fame that they are going after our president, our president who has so many more important things on his plate to be dealing with. They're trying to waste his time with a bunch of this crap. It's quite frankly unacceptable. I mean, if, if they actually were just reasonable human beings, they would realize, okay, there's nothing to see here. Our names have already been on CNN and NBC. We got what we should have been set out for all along. Why don't we just drop this? But no, they're continuing to try and pursue this, and it's, it's amounting to nothing. I, I mean, this whole Trump-Russia thing has now blended into this, too, because special counsel Robert Mueller, apparently because he can't find any collusion between Trump and Russia, because, hey, Bob, shocker, there was none. Now he's actually trying to go the angle of Stormy Daniels and Trump. He's actually seizing documents that completely violates attorney-client privilege in this country when he uh, tells you know, some of these investigators out in Manhattan, hey, you know, why don't you go ahead and you know, why don't you raid Trump's lawyer's office, Michael Cohn, why don't you go after that? I, I mean, no matter what, people cannot get down on President Trump for his job performance in the White House. You know why? Because he gets an A+, plus. because he has been keeping his promises to the American people. All those folks who voted for him, I've not heard one of them say they are disappointed. They are doing a great in, in an economic sense. This country is doing great in a foreign sense. Everything is going phenomenal, so people have to try to bog the president down with a bunch of crap. Stormy Daniels, look, you should have learned this back in high school. Do you ever hear the saying, don't kiss and tell? Yet yeah, usually in this country, we had to tell that to high school boys going into the locker room before football practice the next day after, you know, made out in like a park or somebody's front porch. Yeah, apparently now we need to tell that to middle-aged floozies as well. You're pathetic. That's everything that we got for today, but tune in tomorrow morning and every weekday morning on WTAQ, WHBL, and WSAU for Restoring Reason with John Muir. Until tomorrow, guys, I'm out.